uso na ngayon ang Zoom dahil sa distance learning. Pero kung hindi mo ito alam gamitin, hindi ka nito matutulungan. Kaya naman, ito ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon sa video na ito. Hindi po madali ang gumawa ng ganitong content. Kaya muli po ay inaanyahan ko kayo na mag-subscribe sa aking channel at i-click ang bell icon upang matulungan niyo po ako at ma-notify ko na rin kayo sa mga susunod kong videos. Marami pong salamat. Okay, so ang map ng ating hosting process, una, login, next, click the new meeting, then prepare your virtual meeting room, and then mag-invite ka na, you send invitation, and then you admit the participants, and then finally, you start with the meeting proper. Siyempre, pag natapos na, you have to end the meeting proper. Now, Para makapag-host tayo ng meeting, syempre, kailangan natin start ang Zoom. Now, dito, sa screen ng Zoom, ay kita natin ang new meeting. So, click, click natin yung new meeting. Okay. So, as you're seeing now, Zoom now has started a new meeting. Now, makikita nyo dito ang aking mukha. Pasensya na kayo kasi medyo malabo yung camera ng aking laptop sa screen ng new meeting papansin nyo meron kayong makikita dito so information yan about this one so you can copy the url to send to anybody else everybody else and then they'll be invited now to join your meeting now ito naman ang ibig sabihin nito is the settings of your meeting. Now, here, dito sa settings, I, I just want to show you a very helpful uh, option. Dito sa change virtual background. This is very help, helpful because uh, it can change your background just like that. Just one click. But I'm gonna choose this one but we only see my head. <laughs> Pugot. <laughs> okay, this one. Uh huh. And this one. You see. Okay, here. And dito naman. We have the enter full screen or exit full screen. Ayan. Okay, so nasa full screen na po tayo, no? Now, in here, in the lower corner you also see some options here functions now dito ang pinakauna is yung mute so pag prenes mo yung mute audio mute yan hindi mo na ako maririnig so this is very helpful kung uubo ako for example or may kaka may kakausapin na wasa glit hindi niyo maririnig yung sasabihin ko now yan mute ko na dito naman sa video ganun din ang gagawin niya pag click mo yan mawawala yung video so, ang mag-appear lang po dyan ay ang profile picture ko sa Zoom. Okay? So, pag clinic ko ulit, mag activate yung video, and hopefully, you'll, you'll, able, you'll be able to see me just like a ghost. Okay? I'm gonna stop my video now because it's creepy. Dito naman, sa security, pag clinic mo yan, makikita may mga security options para sa inyong meeting. Okay? So, you can uh, allow the participants to share their screen, to chat, to rename. So, dito naka-disable yung share screen. Now, I want you to focus in here, the enable waiting room. Ang ibig sabihin po niyan, pag, mag -may, pag may mag join na participant sa inyong meeting, ipupunta niya sa waiting room ng, app, ng Zoom app. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya basta-basta makakapasok sa inyong meeting. Not unless na prenes ng host yung accept. Okay. Pag prenes ng host yung accept, saka lang makakapasok yung participant na yun sa meeting. Chat here is used para makapag-chat sa kung kahit sino. Just uh, take note kung sino yung magre-receive ng inyong message. So, sabi dito, two 
everyone, sabi niya. Okay. So, ako lang naman wagi sa dito, kaya ako lang din naman kabasa sa aking message. Okay. Alright. So, yun ang chat option. Now, let's go naman dito sa share screen. This is a very important function. Kasi ito ang gagamitin natin para makapag-demo sa mga kamiting natin. Now, if you're a teacher, this tool is very important. Kasi si share screen, ito ang gagamitin natin para mag-discuss ng ating lessons. Now, right now, may mga naka-open na screens dito sa aking computer. So, ito yung screen ng Zoom, whiteboard, gagamitin mo to para makapag-discuss-discuss ka, pwede kang magsulat dyan, your iPhone or iPad, this one, never mind, this one, never mind. This one is an example of a screen na galing sa PowerPoint. Ito naman, screen din ng PowerPoint. This is another lesson. This one is a lesson for science. This one is a lesson for English. Select natin yung science. Okay. Uh, you might also want to share computer sound. Click mo yan. Then, click mo rin yan. Optimize screen sharing for video clip. Yan. Okay. Then, you click share. So, take another button here is the record button. So, pag nirecord mo, pinis mo yung record, ang buong meeting, Zoom meeting session ninyo ay irerecord ng Zoom. You see there? So, kung makikita nyo doon, Zoom says it is recording. Okay? So, just for illustration purposes, I have to stop this one now. Okay, the record file will be converted to MP4 when the, when the meeting ends. Yeah. Then, you can also send reactions during the meeting. You can clap or you can, you know, send like, like uh, gestures. Now, so, basically... Your meeting is now ready to accept the participants. No? Now, to invite the participants, the next one is to invite your participants na sa meeting mo. So, you go to the participants, click mo yung participants there, and then lalabas itong uh, window na ito. Na paglabas tong window na ito, punta ka sa invite, click mo yung invite. Now, laptop ang ginagamit ko ngayon, alright? So, you have two options. You can invite through your contacts sa Zoom. So, kung titinan nyo, wala akong contacts dito, no? Or you can invite through email. Now, itong email na ito, pipili ka kung ano yung provider mo. Yung email provider mo. Kung ito pa yung default email, Gmail ba? So, karamihan sa atin, Gmail, di ba? And then, Yahoo Mail. Okay? Pero ako, hindi ko gagamitin yung tatlong yan. Ang gagamitin ko is yung copy you RL. Bakit yan ang aking clinic? Kasi yan ang pinaka flexible. Pag nakapi mo ng URL, pwede mo siyang isend sa kahit anong platform. So, try natin ha. So, kinapi ko yung URL. Now, ang gagawin ko, mag-exit ako sa full screen. Ang gagawin ko na ngayon ay mag-invite na ako. Now, punta ka sa messenger, for example. Okay, so, nandito na tayo sa messenger. So, basically, ang gagawin natin dito is uh, go to search messenger or type a new message using the person you want to exchange, uh, you want to join your meeting. No? For example, I'm going to type somebody. Okay, this one. Gusto kong siyang maging ka meeting ko. So, basically, mag magra-write lang ako ng bagong message. And then, dito sa right, click, if you paste ko yung right click ko dito sa type new message, or type a message, paste ko yung kinapi ko kanina sa Zoom. So, basically, ang pinipaste ko po dito ay yung invitation ko, yung link ng meeting ko. So, pag clinic, pag right click ko yan, and then na-paste na, gagawin ko dyan, is isi-send ko na. Now, the person that I have sent a message to is gonna receive this link. At pag clinic niya yung link na yan, automatic, ilalag-in siya ng 
zoom application niya doon sa device niya. Now, pagbalik mo dito, at uh, nakita nila, nag-join sila sa meeting mo, makikita mo sila dito, no? may lalabas sila dito na, may lalabas dito na notification na yung participant na yun, gusto mag-join sa meeting mo. Then, all you have to do is to click accept. Now, pag, man, pag na-click mo na yung accept, ang mangyayari dyan is that makapag-join na sila sa meeting mo.